This is a presentation of the product opctrend.net. opctrend.net is one of 12 product features of the full opcsystems.net suite. In this video, we'll learn how to use the component both in design mode and in runtime mode. We'll see how to incorporate it into a Visual Studio application. The applications that you build can be deployed both locally and remotely as the OPC Trend.net product supports unlimited numbers of local and remote clients. Each component can also connect to multiple services. In this way you can build a very scalable solution and deploy your applications all over the world and use the Internet as your communication source. With the product OPC Database.net you can also provide historical data to the trend controls. We'll see how to use the free to use OPC Systems HMI component and deploy the application on multiple systems. OPC Trend.net and all product features of OPC Systems.net use .NET remoting. So this way you can build global solutions and use the internet as your communications. All components of OPC Systems.net are 100% managed and support smart client deployment. You can see a live example of smart client deployment at opcsystems.com under the Smart Client page. After you install the OPC Systems.net software, it runs a demo tag configuration that we can use to explore some of the trending features. Let's run the OPC Systems HMI container found under the program group OPC Systems.net. This is a free to use application that you can use to deploy local and remote trend windows in your configuration and you don't have to use Microsoft Visual Studio to create the trend windows. Later we will explore how to use Microsoft Visual Studio to use the trend component in more detail. Let's close the alarm window and we can see that the trend window is scalable. There are features in the trend window such as a data view that we can use to see the raw values of the trend control. There's also the feature to stop the trend window and use a data cursor to analyze what the values are at a specific date and time. There are two cursors that you can use. There's also a data zoom feature for operators to zoom in and analyze data at a particular section of the trend. There's also a historical replay that we can use. You would simply specify the start and end time that you would like to return the data from and using the product opcdatabase.net we would then return that data that is logged to say SQL Server, Oracle, Access, or MySQL. There's also some 2D and 3D modes that we can use. During runtime, we can actually rotate the trend upon any axis. We can also zoom in or zoom out on the trend. And there are security features built in to the trend control to limit access to real time and historical data. Let's explore how to use this OPC Systems HMI container. It is quite simple to just add a trend window with the Add button. There we would then specify to modify the trend. The first thing we might want to modify is the update rate. The overall time frame can be anything that you would like. And this is the real time uh, time frame. Another property that we might want to modify by clicking on the modify trend window is the pens property. Here we can select what pens we want to obtain data from. We can select the local service to bring up tags that are defined for trending in the local system or we can enter in an IP address, network node name, or registered domain name and actually browse and connect and trend real-time data from a remote system even across the internet. Here I'm going to select the signal ramp value, add the pen to the trend window. Pens have different properties. We might want to change the line color or maybe the line style. Let's change this ramp signal to an ellipsoid. We we'll click OK and there we see the representation of the pen. Other things that we can do 
we can change the lighting effect under the view property to a metallic luster to give it a better look. We would then assign a trend window name. Let's call this one test. When we click OK, we see test is now in the list of our trend windows. We can then save the configuration to an HMI file. Then to view that trend, you select the trend from the list and click on Add Trend to Window. That trend window now appears in the view. We can then rotate the trend, analyze, see what the raw values are. You can see that the trend already filled the information in from pre-cached data from the real-time service. This is an important feature of opcsystems.net that provides data buffering so all trend information, even when you're communicating across the internet, is made available and you don't lose any of your data on a temporary network connection loss. Now let's see where that real-time data is defined. From the program group opcsystems.net Let's start the Configure OPC Systems application. If we look at Configure Tags and select the local service, we then see a list of tags from the demo configuration. Select the tag Ramp. We see that an important property is enabled called Trend Point. And this tag called Ramp is receiving data from an OPC item. You can also connect directly to OPC servers from your trend component by using the direct OPC interface. The OPC systems.net real-time database supports data sources from OPC servers, OPC clients, databases, and from data from your Visual Studio application. If you want to learn more about data sources for OPC systems.net, view the data sources video. Now let's see how to incorporate the trend control into Microsoft Visual Studio. If we start Microsoft Visual Studio, we select File, New, Project. We just want to create a standard WinForm application. You can use Visual Basic or Visual C Sharp. The form designer appears. And to use the trend control, we use that from the toolbox. If the toolbox does not appear on the left, select View, toolbox. If you have not added the trend control to your toolbox yet, simply right click on the toolbox and select choose items. Then scroll down to select the trend control under OPC trend control. And then select OK. You are then ready to drag the trend control onto the form. Let's resize our form to a larger workspace. Select the trend control and then with the left mouse key draw a square representing the size that you would like the trend control. If you don't get the size perfect the first time that's okay you can resize the trend control later and the trend control can be resized in runtime we'll see with the anchor properties later. We're now ready to set properties for the trend control. Let's start with the chart update rate. If we go down to chart rates, we can set the time frame to any time frame in seconds that we would like. We're going to use one minute in our time frame scale. And a sample rate can be anything you would like. You can use sub-second trending as well. Then we're ready to select the pins that we want to see in this trend window. If we select the pins property, there's a browse button that appears to the right. Select that. The pin dialog now appears. We are ready to select the local service or even a remote service. Let's select the local service. Here's a list of tags that we have in our default configuration. We'll select the ramp signal again and add that. We'll select the random. 
You can also right click on a parameter and click on add trend point. And let's select the sign value. In the lower left we see a list of the pens that we have added so far. If you don't see your tag in the list of pens to select, remember that the trend point property must be enabled under configure tags for that tag to be visible on a trend. You can also connect directly to OPC servers and bypass the OPC systems.net tags by using the direct OPC interface. If you click on the plus sign to the left of direct OPC, you can see you can expand and browse to any OPC server. Here we're browsing the OPC systems.net OPC server to see a list of tags in its configuration. On the lower left, let's select the ramp.value pen. There are many properties that you can define to a pen. For example, the description is very important. You might want to display this text in your trend window to, to indicate to the operators what is this point. You can also do a gain and offset, just some simple math computation on the trend itself. Remember that opcsystems.net supports calculations in the real-time tag configuration. Let's select the random pen and set the line border color to green. And set the and select the sign pen and set the line border color to red. Also under the sign pen, let's go down to the bottom of the properties and set the y-axis range high to 1 and the y-axis range low to minus 1. This provides that that pen has its own individual scaling separate from the other pens. That is the default scaling mode of this trend right now is percent of pen scaling under the y-axis property of the trend. We can do absolute scaling, automatic scaling, and we can even do stacked scaling. If we select OK, we'll now see a representation, if we move the property window aside, of the trend control itself and how it's going to be displayed. Let's improve the look of this trend by selecting another property. Under the Views property, we'll change the lighting effect to a metallic luster. There are many different properties of the trend control. All you can see can be set during design time, but also runtime settable as well. You can even set up a trend control, define pens, chart update rates. All properties can be programmatically set during runtime. Now let's take a look at what that's going to look like in runtime. If we select debug, start debugging, or hit F5 in Visual Studio, we will then launch the application. Here we can see Vista is saying this is the first time this application is run. But we're using TCP connections. And you can see that we've already obtained the data from the service. You can see this is the same trend control we were looking at earlier. We can rotate the trend. We can analyze the data. See what the values are at a specific date and time. And we can change all properties during runtime by right clicking or clicking on the edit icon. OPCTrend.net is a 100% managed component. That makes it very easy to deploy your application because, there's nothing to, because there is nothing to register on the operating system. If you select the Solution Explorer, and if you don't see the Solution Explorer, you can select View, Solution Explorer. If you select your project and right click on it to select the project properties, we can see we can use Click Once Deployment under the Publish tab to publish your application to one central location. There is a video separate for this for smart client demonstration and a live example can be viewed from our website at opcsystems.com. 